Hey, it's Corey from Laboratory and today we're going to show you how to wire up the control panel for the $200 arcade machine. Welcome back. So in this video we're going to cover the wiring of our control panel for the $200 arcade machine. Now you should have already have built the control panel, so install the joysticks and all the push buttons that you want. And we've done that in our previous video. Now the first thing we're going to do is connect our ground wire up to our control board. So you'll see here, this is my IPAC2 controller connected on the ground terminal. You guys might just have a generic board, it should still have the same thing. Now what I'm doing is I'm just going to loop this to all my switches and all my joystick switches. So the ground is just equal potential, it's return path for our signals, so it doesn't matter if they're connected together or not. But Having a loop just makes life a lot easier. So all I'm doing here is just looping in, looping out with a pre-made cable and just going between all my push buttons and all my joysticks. Now the next step what I did was I wrote down what cables I was going to be using colour-wise for all the, the switches just to make it a little bit easier if I ever had to do fault finding. It's probably not so much of a big deal on a unit of the size I'm doing, but if you're doing more players or more push buttons, it would, it would be a good idea. Now, one thing to make note of here is when you're connecting up to the switches, some switches will have normally open and normally closed. You need to make sure that you're going to the normally open contact, as a normally closed contact would mean when you push the button, it actually thinks you're not pushing the button. So it's the exact opposite we want to do. So remember, we want to connect to normally open. Now I'll have a close up here of me putting the switch in so you guys can see a little bit better. So you can see here it just slides in like a little connector and you can see on my switches it's got the three little tags for the normally open and normally closed and the common terminal. Now here is just a little close up of my Ultimark iPack 2 again and I'm just putting in the wire and screwing the terminal. <laughs> it's a bit shaky with the camera because I'm doing this one handed holding the camera and trying to screw it in. Um, now I'm just going to finish off putting all these in, we'll speed it up a little bit. Again this is rinse and repeat, once you've connected one up it just goes around in a circle. The buttons are connected up to switch 1 to switch 6 and player 1 is start and my secondary button next to the player 1 player 2 is the coin button. Uh, with the Ultimark iPack 2 it's not so much of a big deal if you get any of these wrong because you can actually reprogram the whole thing which is why I bought it. Now here for all the excess cables I'm just going to put a bit of tape around it temporarily. When I go to remove everything, paint it and we'll refit everything that's when I'll probably cut the cables a bit shorter and we'll do a much neater job than this but just as a temporary thing I just want the cables out of the way so I just put a little bit of tape around it just to make my life a little bit easier. And that's basically it. We're wired up, ready to go so uh, good job guys if you're up this far. Now, so that's going to be all our temporary wiring. So when we come to do the final finished product, it's going to be exact same steps again, but we'll cut the wires a bit shorter and neater and just have it looking a bit nicer inside. But for the time being, just to make sure everything works, having everything long is going to be fine. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.